Hi Aquarius, welcome back. So Aquarius, this is going to be your reading for mid-month June. I'm uh, going to run through the present energy all the way to the beginning of July. Um, this is love and it is a you versus them. So um, Aquarius, I'm going to pull cards on you, what your hopes, fears, next steps are. Then I'm going to pull cards on the person external to you, what their hopes, fears, and next steps are. Um, just keep in mind that this could resonate with an intimate partner, ex, family member, friend, you name it, whoever comes to mind during the reading. Um, also, please do like, share, and subscribe, and check out my social media account links down in the description box below. So, <laughs> Aquarius, uh, let's see what your overall energy is for mid-month. You have the Three of Pentacles, which in this deck talks about action. Now, I usually see the Three of Pentacles as a cooperative card. So I feel like a lot of you are in a more cooperative energy, um, wanting to see more tangible results in your love life. Um, if you're partnered, um, you may, you know, be working together um, on projects or just simply cooperating. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you're not coupled, then that's okay. This could just be the energy you're holding of wanting to work on yourself or wanting to work on your craft, wanting to work on your career in particular, in particular. Okay. Um, so overall energy, uh, for you is the fool. Um, and so this talks about wanting new beginnings. Also, uh, it's a bit of a naive card. So <laughs> Aquarius, you might have a bit of naivety about you. <laughs> um, it's a very um, playful energy as well. So you may be in a more playful mood. On the darker side of this card, it could also mean, you know, um, it could also be a caution about who you're trusting, okay? So, um, if you see the depiction, there's a snake here. And so you might have a snake in your midst, uh, Aquarius. So be aware of that. Um, but overall, this is an energy of new starts, fresh beginnings, etc. Also, uh, the card of Aries. Some of you might be dealing with Aries or have that in your chart. All right. Um, so person you're dealing with is the Ace of Swords for their overall energy. This person is, um, you know, they might, they might be, uh, communicating with you or might have received some new information. Um, doesn't necessarily need to be about you, but since this is a you versus them reading, I would say that most likely it is. I feel like this person has come to some sort of enlightenment or clarity or, gain some sort of new perspective that's maybe helping them think clearer, okay? Particularly if they've been maybe confused about where you stand in the past or where they stand. Um, so that's an interesting energy to get. I'm going to keep it general at first, and then I'm going to clarify all of these and get very specific, so stick with me. How do you view this person, Aquarius? Woo! So you have here the Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Excuse the nudity, it's the sexual tarot. <laughs> now the Six of Pentacles has a different meaning in this deck than traditional uh, tarot decks. Um, in this deck, this is someone who is focused elsewhere, okay? They may be um, Aquarius. This is how you view the, the person you're dealing with. The person, you know, I feel like there's a sense of the focus being elsewhere, okay? There's somebody here, too, that might be watching um, from afar. Or Aquarius, you might be doing this. Particularly if you're a male Aquarius, you might be the one watching females. You might have a male watching you. Okay, you see this person in the background here. And she's totally unaware, okay, in this depiction. So that's interesting. Um, then you have the Knight of Cups here. So I feel like Aquarius, some of you are waiting for this person to come forward to you. Okay. Whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. Um, 
I feel like you want equal give and take with whatever relationships are in your life right now. Like your overall energy is that of wanting cooperation. Okay. And I feel like the message that I'm getting here is that if you're going to come forward to me, then come forward to me as an equal counterpart. Do you know what I'm saying? Or <laughs> don't come at me with it. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're going to come at me, meet me on my level. You know what I'm saying? Meet me um, where I'm at. So how this person views you, Aquarius, how this person views you, so wow, ouch, they view you as the Ten of Wands and the Five of Cups, wow. So, two different messages here. This person views you as um, they a very heavy energy. Very heavy. What's interesting is you don't see yourself that way, but that's how they see you. <laughs> you see yourself as, like, playful and energetic this month, or you're feeling that, okay? This person is viewing you as the opposite of that. So I'll have to clarify that. This is a very heavy energy. I think that this person um, also, you know, is remorseful. You know, I feel like Aquarius, this person is viewing you how they view themselves. And I don't even think that they realize it. Um... Do you know what I'm saying? Like, um, like the pot calling the kettle black. Is that the saying? High pot meat kettle? I don't know. It's a saying like that. <laughs> I feel like for some reason, Aquarius, I don't know why I'm feeling this, but I feel like this person sees in you what, how they feel about themselves but I don't feel they're aware of that. Like they're placing maybe labels or emotions on you that are actually their own emotions. Does that make sense? That's a very complex uh, emotion to feel and I'm having a hard time being able to explain it to you. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and move forward and I'm gonna come back to this and clarify and see what that's about. <laughs> Most likely next steps at the end of June. Next steps. Wow. Okay. Um, I pre-shuffled this deck, made sure all the cards are upright. Um, so this card came out reversed and that's significant. It, you have the wheel here and the four of swords in the reverse. If somebody's been trying to keep you quiet, it ain't going to work at the end of June. Uh-uh. Or if you have been keeping quiet about something, I feel that that energy is going to shift at the end of June and you're going to speak your mind. With the wheel here paired with this, I think this is something that's been coming for a long time. So somebody might have been waiting because you have the two of pentacles here. You see this person sneaking up on them. Um, this person might have been waiting a long time to hear from you or to speak up. And that may be coming in at the end of June or you have. I keep hearing a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. Like somebody might have had it coming. <laughs> so we'll see what that's about. person you're dealing with. Ooh, ee. They have the page of pentacles and the two of wands. 
as their overall energy. This is a much more positive energy. This is interesting. Um, so I feel like Aquarius, this person is, you know, in search of a new beginning. Okay, but there's, there's a conflict here. You see, you see how this part of them wants one thing and this part wants another. And I know that's not the traditional meaning, but that's the message that I'm getting. It's like wanting a new beginning, but not entirely sure if it's this direction or this direction. Okay. At the bottom of the deck was the seven of swords. So there's something being covered up or not spoken about here. And so I'm going to clarify and see what that is. For sure. So let me go ahead and clarify these. To get a little more specific for you. This is the fool. Wow, so Aquarius, um, over the full energy, which is your overall energy and love this month, you have the King of Wands. You could be dealing with the fire sign, like I said. Um, if you're not, if you're not dealing with the fire sign, then this is the energy you're embodying. It is a very action oriented and action oriented energy, yes, but it is also extremely impulsive. And so, you know, um, I feel like that's why the Three of Pentacles is here. This is a more of a grounded energy, but it's also action-oriented. You need to be a little more grounded in the decisions that you're going to be making here towards the end of June. Um, this is a, like a fly-by-night energy. And like I said, there's a bit of naivety here. Or that is this person's perception of you. I do feel like the sign of Aquarius, uh, particularly the women, um, can appear naive on the external, but uh, there's nothing naive about an Aquarius, I'll tell you that, not internally. Um, and generally not um, an impulsive sign, although I will say that Aquarius will up and change their mind overnight, or it will appear that way to the external world that they've done that, changed their mind overnight. But in reality, a true Aquarius has probably thought about it, dwelled on it for a very long time before they've made that decision. Why do I say all of that? Because I feel like there's a misconception uh, or this person's perception of you is, I don't want to say it's not correct, but it's, uh, flawed. Does that make sense? I don't know. Um, over the Ace of Swords, which is the person you're dealing with's energy. Let me get one more for that. They had uh, the High Priestess come out as the clarifier. So whatever conclusion this person has come to um, or whatever enlightenment they've gotten, it's on a more spiritual level. It's uh, a more intuitive type of energy here. So I feel like if this person, um, the person you're dealing with, Aquarius, they might be tapping into their intuition. They might be tapping into their spirit guides if they believe in spirit guides. 
um, etc. And that's how they're gaining clarity or that's how they're, I guess, clearing the air, so to speak. Very interesting energy. Um, and or this person has some new information here, but they have not shared it yet. Like I said, there's a quiet, there's something being kept quiet. Okay. So, yeah. What is the Six of Pentacles, please? Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hold on, the cards flew. <laughs> I don't mean to keep saying that. I wanted to clarify the two of wands. And I got the hanged man. Ten of wands, which remember is how they see you. Seven of swords. King of cups. That is what I was saying earlier. This person takes their feelings, how they feel about themselves, the world, their perception... And they place that label on you. And I, I'm trying to think of a way to describe this to you in that, so that you'll understand what I'm saying here. Um, for example, if someone is, um, this is an example, if someone is a deceitful person, um, they typically have trust issues. Why? Because they view the external world as deceitful. So they don't trust anybody because they know they are not trustworthy. It is a reflection of themselves. Somebody left a quote on one of my YouTube uh, videos and it was dead accurate. And I, I honestly can't remember what it, exactly how it went so I hope I don't butcher it but it said I'm not who you think I am I am not who I think I am I am who you no I am I am who I think you think I am I hope that made sense. I am who you, who I think you think I am. Meaning like how you think people perceive you is how you feel about yourself. I hope I put that into terms that you could understand it. Because that's what this person is doing or does. And it may not be just to you. They may do this. They may have a habit of doing this, you know, maybe seeing, um, and that was just an example, but, you know, say on the flip side, on a more positive note, or another way I could put it is if like someone is a very, um, optimistic person, you know, they, they, uh, always tell the truth, then they go through life assuming that other people always tell the truth. And they end up reflecting that reality. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't explain it anymore. But that's what's happening here. Okay? Because they see you as the Ten of Wands and the Five of Cups. But then in their own energy, they have the Ten of Wands, the King of Cups. And this is perspective here. This is this person's perspective. But I feel like they have trouble deciphering uh, between um, who you really are versus who they imagine you are. And that doesn't have to be a bad thing, but it's something that needs to be corrected. So if you're cross-watching an Aquarius, be careful not to place... Um, <clears throat> your own projections onto the Aquarius, okay? Because here's the energy I see you in Aquarius. I feel like you're over here 
wanting action, wanting movement forward, you're in a light, a very light energy, a very playful energy, a very adventurous energy. Um, you view whoever you're dealing with as someone who you would have liked or have equal give and take with, or you would like that with someone that you've wished for. Okay, you view this person as um, the Knight of Cups. So I feel like Aquarius, um, yeah, you're, you view them as either wanting them to come forward to you or uh, being open to that. At the end of the month, and I need to see what this is about, there's something coming back around here. And I feel like, Aquarius, you're going to speak up. <clears throat> okay? You're going to speak up. If something's been bothering you, or some of you are aware that this person has a skewed, a skewed perspective of you, and maybe it's been bothering you, and so you might speak up. Yeah! <laughs> the strength card. Watch it, y'all. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they're getting ready to show you how blunt an Aquarius can be <laughs> at the end of the month, or some of you already have. Oh my gosh, I can't get away from this. The Page of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Be careful in how you communicate with an Aquarius because I do feel that you're in an impulsive energy. It's somewhat of an immature energy, just to keep it real with you. So watch that. You had a bunch of cards come out. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you also had the death card come out. So I have Leo Scorpio here. You could have that in your chart. Could be dealing with those zodiac signs. Um, or like I said, that just could be the energy. So I feel like, yeah, Aquarius. Um, I want to know what's going to be spoken about. So. Woo. Whoever you're dealing with, I, I feel like um, they view you as Wheel of Fortune again. I clarified how they view you. And it was the Temperance and the Tower and the Empress over the Five of Cups. So I do feel like this person's, like I said, they, they see you as having some heaviness about you. On the other side of it, they see you as someone who um, is very confident. It's a very confident card. But also, I feel like they, the tower is here. So, unstable. This person might view you as being unstable. It's funny because you don't view yourself that way. <laughs> um, and it could be Aquarius, you know, keep it real with yourself, that some of you, you know, are lacking uh, self-perspective and how you're coming off to people, okay? Don't get mad at me for saying that, but it could be interchangeable. Just keep that in mind, okay? This is a very stern energy in the way that they see you. They might see you as very stern. Yeah! Yeah! The Three of Swords. What the heck? Hold on. The Hermit. What is, whatever's been suppressed is going to come out. And this is very similar to the overall June reading. Very similar. Go check that out if you haven't watched it. So I still see that energy here. There was, I wanted to clarify what was underneath 
what was being kept quiet because it's not going to be kept quiet much longer. Okay. And this is what I got underneath it. This is what lies beneath the surface, Aquarius. And this is in your energy. If you have uh, been keeping things to yourself, you know, particularly a situation that might have really hurt you and or was dealing with uh, three people in particular. It doesn't have to be, though. Um, you know, it might have been something that came to an end that took a lot of courage, took a lot of strength for you to move past. But for some reason, there's something that was left unsaid, and it's going to be said. Why? Because your overall energy is the fool and the king of rods. You're ready to take action on this. Um, and if you watch the last video I posted for Aquarius, I think it was in the last video, I talk about how when there's something near and dear to an Aquarius's heart, they will wait before they speak. They will think about it from all different angles before they speak on it. And that's what's happening here. So you've thought about it and you're getting ready to speak on it. And or you're dealing with someone who is getting ready to um, do that to you. But I feel this is mostly your energy and I keep hearing over and over and over again, it's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. So what does that do to the person you're dealing with here? Well, I wasn't trying to get more clarifiers, but I got the Eight of Swords. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you know, there's Seven of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Hanged Man. This puts this person in their emotions makes them go into a standstill. I think that this person has a lot of heaviness around them or in them. There is a covering up of it though. It's all covered up into a nice neat little package. Okay. Like this person uh, may not be speaking to you or has not spoken to you maybe in the past or just not expressed all of their feelings. But underneath this, look at this. They're covering it up. What are they covering up? Heaviness. Trying to get a different perspective. This is the King of Cups. This is a very emotional energy. It's water energy. Okay. And then why the Page of Pentacles for them? The Page of Swords again. <laughs> Why the Page of Swords and Page of Pentacles? Yeah, oh, the Queen of Cups. Goodness gracious. So yeah, like I just got done saying. This is the card of communication too, impulsive communication. This, may, this person may uh, come forward, like I said. But I feel like if they do, say if you're not currently speaking to this person... They, it's coming from a very emotionally immature place. This is emotional immaturity. But underneath that, they want a new beginning opportunity. If you're currently in a relationship with this person, then you might have some emotional outburst at the end of the month or... Whatever's being suppressed is, you know, will bubble up to the surface, okay? Yeah. So, super interesting reading, Aquarius. Very many, many layers to this reading. Um, <laughs> it, you have the Wheel of Fortune here twice, so, you know... Um, I feel like something's definitely coming back around. It's a very faded energy. And I really don't like using words like that, like faded, fate. But that's, you know, I can't help but deny that I have it out twice. Um, 
Yeah. So the zodiac signs you might be dealing with here are, like I said, I have a, a Scorpio, I have a Leo, I have a Virgo. I also have a Pisces. Could be Cancer. Or Aries. You could have those placements in your chart. Capricorn's here if I didn't say that. You could have these placements in your chart. This person could have place these placements in their chart. And or this could just be the energy that is uh, affecting you during these next two weeks. Take it as it resonates. It's a general reading. Keep that in mind. So it's going to be different for each of you. Either way, very interesting reading. Uh, please do let me know what you think. And I hope it resonated. Uh, and come back next time. I love you so much. Namaste.